they were going to have Hello chat, welcome back. Good to see you all here for a game known as City State 2. We've taken a look at it before, but uh, January is a good month to come back to games that were good in the previous year and play them again. We're coming back to uh, check this one out and uh, do a little bit more in it. It's a wonderful little city builder and I wanted to try it out again. Recently on the channel we've been playing like Planet Coaster and City Skylines, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, and... Oh! It looks like it's loading our old nation. We're going to have to start a new one. There we go. Good to see you all back. We'll start a fresh new uh, mission or nation or whatever you want to call it here. And it uh, should be a good time. Let's see. How do we do that? Create. Oh, open or create a new nation. Raptoria. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And we'll get started uh, anew. Okay. So, anyway, this game's available now on Steam. Very, very good. Very fun. It looks a lot like um, City Skylines, but it plays, or the layout is a little bit more like SimCity 3000, but it's kind of more about how you manage the resources and the decisions you make. But also, building a city is fun, too. Good to see you all back. Yes, indeed. I think this game also has some really good music, although I think it all was uh, marked as copyright, so we're going to have to... Maybe we'll just put on some, uh, some chill music. We'll find some good tunes to put on. All right. Welcome back. Thanks for becoming members. Welcome again to all the new subscribers. And thanks for smashing the like button. It helps the channel to grow and helps new people to find it. And uh, hopefully more and more people subscribe this year as we're already over a million. So thanks again for your support. Go ahead and put on some chill lo-fi. There we go. That'll be cool. All right, let's go ahead and build the uh, Republic of Raptoria. Let's call it that then. Uh, that sounds like a good, good name. Uh, you can't delete a nation you are in. Can I rename it? Uh, maybe there's a way to rename it. Oh yeah. So instead of building a city in this game, you're actually building multiple cities that are connected through multiple regions. So what the game might lack in its whole city building aspect, it definitely makes up for and being a really cool like city builder in general oh it looks like uh, it remembered our city did i delete our nation create or open oh there we go new nations over here got it but like it still saved my nation but i guess it renamed it all right a new nation so we can pick a different map let's go for exotic seems cool peninsula let's go with exotic Seems nice, like an island paradise. Map A, B, or C. Ooh, that looks cool. Actually, wait, let's see if there's any other islands. Oh, okay, these are even better. Um, maybe a coastal map? Kind of like in this one, although I may have already done that one. Uh, let's see, lots of territory on that one. I want a lot more water. Archipelago. Are there any valley like on the water? Kind of like in the peninsula one right now. But also the island one looks cool. Let's do peninsula. Uh, peninsula B? Nah, we'll go with the island. That'll be fine. Okay, so let's see here. So geography and exotic map A. Kind of more like an island, I guess. Um, set to easy. What does that do? Oh. Um, sure. I guess it'll allow us to get a little further and see more of the game in the short time that we have. 
Thanks for having a great community. Well, thanks for being a part of it, Scott. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, we've uh, I, I did a video on this and a couple of live streams on it, too. It's quite a fun game, although I've forgotten everything there is to know about it. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. I think your nation will change, like it'll be called something different based on your political decisions, I think. So, like, you can become a kingdom if you want, or like a people's republic of or something. Uh, maybe. We could probably always change the name later. And we're going to have to change our flag, too. Ooh, pretty trees. All right, nice. Nice. All right, where are we going to build a city? A good spot for a capital city would be... Right here looks nice. Are we going to adopt a new flag? Let's do that. All right. We can change colors and stuff like that. Okay. Hmm. Something like, like that seems cool. New member, Ooh. welcome. We're on the water, so we're gonna want to do something with ships. Is there like boats or anything? Ah, Novark, thanks for becoming a little raptor. Welcome aboard, thanks for your support. We need a bear flag? How bear you, chat? Well, that looks pretty. Oh, we can go with the Toblerone flag. We could go with something like that. That looks nice. The mountain's kind of small, though. This is like as big as we can make the mountain. That's kind of cool. I like. I do like that. Uh, we should be able to make different layers, right? Oh yeah, so we can change the... How would I change the emblem color? Uh, okay. I think white is good. We'll just go with that. I don't like the uh, star, though. Uh, but we could change its position. So we could put like a, like a star up here. Gonna be some Yuke de Bania stuff going on here. Emblem left. Hmm. Kind of cool. Elephant, that's cool too. Oh, the bird seems really cool. Maybe we should go for the bird. You guys like the bird? I like the bird. I think the bird looks cool. The Toblerone flag was humorous and catchy. There's a lot of good options. Oh, we could also just go with like a symbol like that. Oh, that's cool too. That looks really neat as well. That seems really cool. Maybe we'll go with something like that. The lobster. It's 
funny. I've already used the lobster. I want to use it again, though. But maybe we'll change to something else. Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, we'll go with that. That looks nice. Okay. I like that. That looks cool. I think we can change it any time, though. I'm pretty sure. If you want to. All right, go and create the capital. All right, let's make a capital. Yeah, apparently this game's quite tough. It, it does take a very long time to play. Um, but it's one of those games where it's like, you know, it's like City Skylines takes a long time, too. It's pretty easy to make a city, but to make it to your liking, to add all the stuff you want to do, and then to come back multiple times when you unlock stuff, that's the fun about City Skylines. Okay, uh, what is this? Economic freedom is 51, civil rights is 59, stability 100, national treasury, exchange rate, and electricity. Uh, new city. Let's see. What should we call our new city? Uh, let's see. Coast something coast. something coast or we could call it port port All right, the first city you'll establish will be your country's capital, so choose its location wisely. I did, uh, flat area with area to expand. Yeah, true. Maybe we should go somewhere more flat. Although we did pick exotic. Oh, we could build up there. I do want a water connection, but not too much water. I wish there was a way to adjust the grid in this game. That's a good spot too, right here. We do want some flat area to expand. But then again, the goal of the game is not to build one city, but many cities. So I, I think this will be a better city here. Port Poglad. Hmm. Port Pog. Let's go with that. Um, yep. All right, let's begin. Such a fun game, this one. It's really nice. There's like mountains up there, damn. Oh, what a, wow. We should've went with the mountain. That's right, the uh, the key is still pretty. That's wonderful, we got like some tropical coastline but also a beautiful mountain. That looks cold more than it looks like a, just like a rocky shoreline. Oh, this is a great spot. I think we picked a good spot. Okay. Uh, getting started. Here will be displayed basic instructions in managing a new city. A step can be skipped by clicking continue. Uh, the tutorial can be deactivated from the settings window. Move the contr uh, controls with WASD. Okay. All right, now we got to build roads. Roads? Brother, where we're going? We're going to need roads, yeah. Good point. Oh, I like that, how it shows you uh, in a direction what the road will look like when you build it. Uh, let's start down here. That's a good spot. Main Street. Okay. We should build an intersection, I think. Uh, build 60 road tiles. Okay.
check for resources first. Well, we're just building houses at the start. But yes, we'll have to worry about resources soon enough. Okay, did I do it? I think I did it. Well, that's a good start. We'll make a square, though. Here, too. Pretty. That's a good question. Are there mods and workshop stuff for this game? I, I didn't look. Does anyone know? That's a good question. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, it definitely looks like uh, SimCity 3000 for sure. Ooh, look at all the stuff we can build, though. Rail stations, underground stations, bus stops, airports. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're going to build an airport eventually. That's right. As indicated by the demand bars, hundreds of new citizens are willing and ready to settle in our city. The lighter green bar shows a positive demand for low-income housing. The value gets too high, some households may start building and moving into slums. Oh, yeah, we got to... Uh, zone medium density for residential lots along a road. Place your cursor in a tile beside the road and drag the zone along it. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Good. Build 25 residential lots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to build more roads then. I don't want to spend too much money. Where's our cash? 89,000? Okay. Well, if we're going to build stuff, we got to build... If we're going to have things, we got to have stuff. I'm a pro, chat. You can tell. Things equal stuff, chat. Has a Rio de Janeiro feel. Ooh, yeah, the beautiful mountains and stuff and the coastline. Now, I want to go fly around in uh, Rio in Microsoft Flight Sim. It's been a while since I've done that. Okay. So there's, what, four per lot? Times five? Eh, we could always add more. We're always going to need more residential housing, so we may as well add more. Not gonna be something that we ever not don't need. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we have workers and resources. Oh, <gasps> you're right. So this could only be a Soviet Republic then. Oh, that game's a lot of fun. The coolest thing about workers and resources, Soviet Republic, is that it um, it's actually more about the resources than you'd think it would be. Like, you think just building some houses and plopping down a factory is enough, but you also got to build, like, all the train lines and stuff to, like, ex like do exports. We're definitely going to be playing that one again. That's a, that's a really cool game. Really neat game. Okay, I think we built more than enough, right? I think we've... Oh, actually, I'll, I'll build some along here. There we go. Okay, that's enough. All right, power and water. Power lines and water pipes are set automatically, but plants and pumps must be connect, uh, selected and built. If a city runs out of power or water, development will stop and buildings will get abandoned. Build a diesel generator and then a water tower. These facilities must be placed along a road. Well, let's build a water tower over here. Uh, let's see. Water tower. Oh, that's a good spot for it. All right, then we got to put down a power producer. I think pollution's a thing, so we need—we definitely need to keep that away. 
Nobody wants a power plant in their backyard. Chat, should I read a pun for every time we get some new members? I think we definitely should. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to read some more puns. We must have more members, chat. We need more. Fantastic, yeah. I'll save this area for commercial, maybe. Um, so, a power plant we could probably build up here this way a little bit. Oh, roads aren't too expensive to build. Yes, puns. Okay, well, we're going to need a brave soul to click or tap join and become a member today. Who will it be? Who will it be? Let's see. I will put our power plant there. Water tower we already did, so that's good. All right, consumption is king. Retail stores uh, induce demand for industrial sectors. It's then essential to always make sure the commercial demand is always uh, being met. Uh, so it's a sustained job creation cycle. Uh, more consumption means more jobs. More jobs equals more tax income. Good. All right, so we'll put our commercial buildings here. And maybe some in the corner here. I guess I'll be able to road all the way around it. This game is a real, like, real gridiron, of course, because there's not really many uh, diagonal roads or whatnot, but it's still, it's still pretty damn cool to build uh, stuff like that. Oh, I remember, too, we can build, like, beautiful boardwalks and stuff in this game. The game has a lot of stuff I want to see in a new City Skylines. Can you imagine how an announcement of city a new City Skylines would be mind-blowing? Things that they'll have to have in there by default. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Like being able to build like boardwalks and stuff like that would be in incredible. That would be so cool to have like a little little boardwalk with like businesses and like a little a little beachside thing where everybody can, you know, you, you park nearby, you get out, walk up and down the boardwalk and the beach and get out and see stuff. It's nice. Nice. Okay, let's add some more commercial lots. They want us to add six. Well, we'll add eight then. That's fine. Tax cuts. Uh, since they're so important, let's support re uh, retailers with some tax cuts. Open the budget panel and locate the retail section and its ta uh, raise its tax. Uh, set tax rate to 3%. Okay. Done. All right. Manufacturing. New industrial buildings create demand for office spaces later on. If the education system improves, the industry will shift towards a cleaner, more advanced production technique. Okay. Let's build some industrial. Let's build it up here. Or maybe over here in this little valley. Is there traffic too? Yep. Yeah, we'll get a lot of traffic reports and stuff. A lot of cool data and information we'll get from uh, playing along. The terrain is too steep. Oh. No, we can build there. Oh! Wow. Imagine going over that that jump. Woo. Better make it a little longer. Yeah. Well, imagine driving on that road, brother. Amen. You're going to have to put uh, diff lock, chains... Four by four. Maybe maybe four by four ain't even enough. Maybe they need six by six. 
That road's hilarious, but okay. I'll 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 keep it. I'll let it work. Oh boy. That, uh, I think that'll work. <laughs> okay, let's see. So six industrial slots we need to build now. We'll see how that works. I don't know if that'll work. We'll see. Okay, let's build industrial buildings. Yeah, I'm not sure about tunnels. I, I don't know if there's any way to, like, I know there's roads, but we'll see. Uh, we'll start with a few more than just six. There we go. Alright, build new roads and new residential zones. Provide the necessary amount of commercial and industrial lots following the values from the uh, demand bars. Our country doesn't our country doesn't attract many more immigrants yet, so our city will grow slowly, especially if the unemployment rate is too high. Reach a population of 750. Okay. Let's go. So eventually we get to build an airport and then people will move into the city that way. Yeah, well, ooh, perfect. Yeah, we'll leave the road that way. All of you right now in this town should invest in auto body repair. Imagine the amount of suspensions, brakes, and tires you're going to be repairing. Oh, my God. You're putting every one of your kids through college twice. So right now we're in elitist republic. But we can change as time goes on. Based on our decisions, there'll be... Uh, as our city as our city grows, there'll be more and more interest in different demands, things like um, um, like private or public school systems. Um, I forget some of the other things. I think freedom of religion, different economical choices you can make, things like um, teaching apprenticeships in school or whatever, like entrepreneurship, so that way more people will go out and start businesses, making yours. Your, your country more competitive. You you think you're just building a city, but remember, this is a this is gonna be a, a, a republic soon, or whatever. Better call Solomon. Nice. <laughs> Guten Tag's restaurant. Yeah, hospitals and jails, things like that. Yeah. Uh, where do we check population? Population is there. Yep. So then as we unlock more and more stuff, then we get uh, different choices. I think you can even do military stuff or something. I'm not sure. Bum, 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 bum. Airport has insufficient... Well, we don't have an airport yet. We're just going to do whatever the game says. We'll just follow the uh, instructions. Wow, the industrial buildings. They always look so weird. They almost, sometimes they look like houses to me. This just look like a two-car two garage with, uh, you know, chemical tanks out the side. Yeah, there's elements that are similar to Tropico. It's really like City Skylines meets Tropico meets um, SimCity. Pretty cool. And also a little bit of uh, workers and resources in there. Favorite game of 2021? Probably Valheim and like Project Zomboid. And I don't think there's just one favorite, but the thing, the games that brought me closer to people like uh, Jerry and Jessica B and Alex and Booster and introduced me to different game mechanics and stuff like that and, and were interesting, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, is our population only at uh, 205 still? Maybe we should build more houses. Wow, that's the that's the maximum is 205. Wow, I th I thought the town would still grow. All right, we got to zone more then. More zoning. Let's zone more, chat. Oh. Let's build roads then.
And these are gravel roads to start with, and eventually we'll upgrade the roads, and then we'll include buses, and eventually get like high speed rail and stuff. It's gonna be nice. And this music's like uh, the Weather Report channel. Now we're at 3.42, good. I don't want to build too much in the mountains, but... There you go, look at you can see traffic now filling up the streets. Nice. Yeah, if you want realistic road mechanics, uh, City Skylines is king, but if you're looking for more national level gameplay, then this is definitely I I, I want City Skylines to do that too. Be more of a nation builder. Sometimes you can make a city with a million populations, like that's pretty substantial. All right, there we go. That should get us up to 750 population. Damn, the city looks nice. Hey, we did it. All right. First government building. Government buildings unlock new policies and tools to control our country's growth. The headquarters are very special. The building will expand by itself with more population and with enough active policies. As it cannot be destroyed, its location should be chosen judiciously. Alright, so we gotta build the government headquarters. I think right here would be fine. Is there a way to rotate? I think we'll build it over here. It's got our flag and stuff. Very cool. Uh, stability bonus. Oh, fictitious jobs. Okay. Got it. So we can affect... Uh, the economy and stuff like that. Oh, that looks pretty. All right, each government building speeds up the growth of the stability index. Indicator directly uh, affects inflation. Approval rates should be above 50. Destroying slums, new policies, tax rates will lower the index. When reaching zero, tax rates and policies can no longer be changed. Open the legislation window. Uh, pick a policy of your choice once opened. Oh yeah, okay, so for now we can only make government choices, but eventually economic and society things will open up. Let's start with entrepreneurship. 
set up community workshops for minorities mandatory okay, that's a good one mandatory entrepreneurship in high school class enact excellent Oh, it's so not. Oh, I like. Oh, I like how that looks. It's very nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, pick a policy of your choice. Once, so, okay, we did that already. Enact your policy. Done. Uh, education is important. Uh, click on the layers button. Move the cursor over education icon. The color indicates the quality of the education system while the score refers to the current level of education. Even with a high quality system, it may take time for the education level to advance. Education is central to help more citizens move up the social ladder. Okay. Ah, elementary school. Uh, quality of the education system stands on multiple factors, etc., etc. Okay. So let's build a school. Oh, over here is probably nice. Nice. Okay. As opposed to school, power plants don't need to be extended to increase their capacity. To accommodate the growing population, let's turn on a second power generator. Click on the left. Oh, okay, yeah. We get to uh, turn on another generator within the power plant. We can flip on another generator. Yep. All right, now reach a population of 2,000. Population right now is... Population is 14... 20. Such chill music, I love it. So good. Go build some businesses on the shoreline. then eventually we're going to need to build a um, airport somewhere. Which could go over here. Happy New Year to you as well, Captain C. Thanks for tuning into our stream. Welcome. gas station there. Alright, where else can we build some homes? Do we have demand of 
I think BM stands for basic manufacturing. Industrial it is. Uh, is there terraforming or something? Um, I'm not sure exactly. I don't remember too much in terms of terraforming. But, if you want to build on flat land, there are the plains maps and a few other options for that. But this, this is going to look cool. With the city up against the mountain like that, it's going to look nice. But remember, we're just building one of many cities that we need to build to interconnect. That's going to be cool. Pretty cool. Build a couple cities there. And 2,000. Wonderful. Immigration office. Excellent work. We are now about to unlock one of the most powerful legislative powers. Build the immigration office. Okay. Department of Immigration. How does it work with connecting cities? You'll build roads to the edge of the map and then you can have the cities interconnect that way. So when you build the edge of a map, you be, you're making a connection to a new region that you can build in. So uh, think of city skylines, except when you build to the edge of the map, it just doesn't kind of go to nowhere. It actually goes to like another city. So we could have like a city up here and then have a road going up there and then they'll be interconnected. So a train or a road will bring traffic in this way. Kind of cool. Yep, SimCity 2000. You could build uh, online with other people. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's build a immigration office. Hmm. I don't want to build it somewhere in a pretty spot. I want to build it here, I think. It's uh, where everybody who becomes a new member has to check in before they get into the into the Discord. Looks nice. All right, let's see. A large influx of immigrants could put a strain on the housing market and drive families to move into slums. When our education and health systems improve, the city will attract wealthier Im uh, migrants. For now, set the border policy with the uh, with the least advanced nations to 80 or higher. If you feel like it, the border policy can be changed at no cost. Border control, 80, okay. Place a building of worship. Pinto, bless, a mosque, a church, or a pagoda. Ooh. 
Oh man, if we could put an, a building out there, that would look sweet. Now let's build a pagoda on the corner. I wonder if there's an effect radius, though. I don't think so. Pretty. All right, more children means more classrooms. Let's make some space to accommodate more pupils. Left click on the school to open its settings. We're gonna build a high school now. Upgrade, upgrade this school. A better school. Upgrade. Oh, now we have a C, a C average grade. Excellent. And now reach a population of 4,000. We can take a look at stuff with the census tool. Very nice. Wow, the city looks pretty at nighttime. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful, chat. Very nice. be quite a nice port if we build it up. I'm going to leave this spot for an airport. Speaking of ports. And we'll build some houses over here now. Looking good. Oh no. Okay, that looks nice. Oh, there's a gas station on the coastline. Oh. Laysai. There are hints to Minecraft in this game as well. This is Minecraft 2? Wow. Now don't worry, Chad. I'm going to cheat in the speed run, but don't worry. I'm going to say I was in a dark, dark place, and I'll apologize and be gamer of all time. Oh, yes. The gamer of all time. Beautiful. City Skylines Minecraft Edition, yep. Yeah. I suppose. Port Pog. I think we're going to have to expand a little bit further to this side. Right over here. Yeah, there's a Minecraft realism mod, yeah. Oh, 
Oh man, you know what we should play this weekend too, by the way? I was thinking about it. Everybody could join if we could, if we could get like... I don't know if we can get like a hundred people or something on Open TTD. You guys ever hear of Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe? It's a game that kind of looks like this, but it's like Transport Fever a little bit. But it's more like more like this. So it's like Transport Fever meets kind of the square thing. Everybody could come join. We could do a, a community event. It's free to download on Steam. There's a billion mods and stuff. And it's really like any laptop can run it. Boy, look at that road, though. Wow, that's... Wow. Imagine driving home. Wow, that jump, though. It looks nothing like this. It's the closest thing I can equate to it. It, it definitely has the whole grid system. Um, so it, it kind of works like this. The graphics are a little more... Enjoyable, fun. They're more fun. Some word. Advanced manufacturing has some demand. Nice. A nice flat valley here to be able to build some stuff. Oh, I'm building that street that long because of that weird, that weird jump. I couldn't build like off the corner of the. Uh, couldn't build off the corner of the hill. There we go. But manufacturing needs to be a little bigger anyway. We can also do farming too. Yeah, you could run 10,000 versions of... Uh, Open TTD on a calculator. But hey, it's a fun free option for everybody to come say hello and to come game along. Ooh, we're having water shortages. Okay, time for another water tower. Uh, you found the channel from Soviet Republic. Love the content. Well, thanks for watching. Soviet Republic is a really cool game too. It's a, it's a one that I'm gonna want to probably play on like um, easy diff or unlimited money just to build something that like works and then reverse engineer it when I figure out how the game works. You can do that in a lot of games too, by the way. If you want to play a city builder but you're really afraid about money and bankruptcy, a lot of games like Planet Coaster, Parkitect, this game. Uh, City Skylines, many of those games have an unlimited money mode where you can just go in and build a bunch of stuff and then when you're interested you can go back and reverse engineer it and find out like what's making you money, what's losing you money, and then try to balance it a little bit more for an actual like uh, legit playthrough. I shouldn't even say legit, but just like the more realistic playthrough of having to balance a budget and whatnot. Okay, we still need to reach a population of 4,000. Well, no wonder we have a water shortage. These people have to have a pool? Do they really need to have a pool? You're like a block from the ocean. What we really need, though, is a multiplayer city builder. The only thing that we've got that's like multiplayer is like Parkitect, and I really like that. But I want there to be like a multiplayer city builder where maybe you can build your own city and a friend can build a city and then both of you can... Like SimCity 2013 is like that. And I want I want something like that, but... Unfortunately, you know, EA. The city's actually profitable and stuff too. Uh, I think we'll just build houses here. I don't. I don't want to build on like the nice beach.
At least as much as I can avoid it. But with all this hilly landscape, everything's at a premium. Bro, you look deaf from 2017 videos. You're telling me I look different from 2017 than I do in 2022? Five years? What happened, Raptor? You've changed. You used to look different five years ago. Well, imagine that. What if we could build a different power plant now? Let's take a look. What do we got for power? Solar plant. Monthly cost of 40. Ooh. A uh, solar farm would be good. Ooh, coal power plant's pretty spendy. Well, solar power plant would give us a little extra energy without being as expensive. Oh, we could build, build like a solar grid over here. That'd be kind of cool to make like a dedicated solar system, like power system. Kind of a cool area to make like a power grid. Yep, there's nuclear power plants in the game. Oh, it'd be cool if you could import this town to Project Zomboid. Ooh, that's a that's an interesting thought. All right, so we'll leave that area for like a solar grid. our power usage. Oh, here. Power usage, 85%. Water usage, 61%. Education, 22%. Okay. Too bad this game forces you to use a grid-style road system. Well, so did Banished, and people still love that game a lot, so sometimes it doesn't... It might be, like, a little annoying that you have to use grids, but what you get when you lose out on uh, a whole free building road network is a lot of extra stuff, like uh, more policies that you can set and such. City, city Skylines kind of has the same, too, but they're more city policies, oftentimes. But every game's a little different, and that's what makes them fun. A little extra flavor. A different flavor. Now oh, we're gonna make that population of 4,000 now. You like the curves? Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, but there's no... Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Oh, I know. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. There's certainly not a thing as a uh, perfect game. But this definitely has a different style, and I like it. And it makes me... 
Games like this make me excited for what City Skylines will have to do because I'm sure the next City Skylines that comes around is going to take inspiration from, you know, Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo and Parkitect and so Workers and Resources. All, all these other different building games that some, some of which aren't even related to building cities. But imagine building a park in the style of Planet Coaster or something like that. Like, it's amazing how detailed you can get. Okay, looks like people want more shops, too. I think we can add a few stores here. Along that part of the mountain. We'll kind of leave the mountain there. Give us something nice to look at. That's why chat comes to the streams. Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Oh, good. Now we've uh, completed that objective. In smaller cities just like ours, the approval ratings do not matter much yet, but approaching 10,000 and 20,000, these ratings will begin to play a bigger role. To prevent the risk of riot as much as, po as, much as possible, knowing how to satisfy the citizens is essential. Uh, let's see, since they have a few priorities... Uh, since they have a few priorities in common, the approval differs from left-wing and right-wing citizens. The weight of each group depends on the citizens' political affiliations. Depending on the chosen policies and origin of migrant uh, migrants, the, oh, the affiliations will evolve. It should be noted that the approval ratings are only related to riots and does not affect the economy. Well, that would kind of affect the economy, wouldn't it? Uh, the unemployment rate can have harmful effects on the economy. Too low and businesses will go bankrupt because of a lack of workforce. In that case, uh, increase the tax, rate, tax rates and open the borders. Too high and migrants will stop to arrive. People will get poorer. In that case, lower the retail tax. The, ec uh, the economy evolves slowly. Reforms have no immediate consequences. Land value. Land value plays a critical role in the city's future. Skyscrapers are larger and companies will only get built uh, when the company, when the land value is sufficient. Parks and service buildings increase nearby value. Pollution from emitted from basic manufacturing and building decreases land value. Yep. Traffic jams. Okay. Oh, more power outages. And they now want us to build the airport. Yeah, we're going to build an airport. Woo! All right. Let's uh, first of all worry about power outages again. Let's build a power plant. All right. Build the first airport of the nation. Oh, we can build it right over here. Perfect. Uh, press tab to rotate. Oh, tab is to rotate. Does the arrow have to be touching a road? assume so. Cool. And the airport will probably get bigger as we upgrade it too. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to close it. Oops. Okay, see special buildings and continue. Reward buildings. As the population of the nation grows... Okay, we can get reward buildings. Uh, government headquarters, Department of Immigration. Ooh, oh, we can unlock fusion power plants, state social media, university buildings, a red light district. Capital, central... Uh, Central Bank, 
Department of Commerce. All right, to support other cities in the nation, you must create new ones. A certain amount of your income is sent to the national fund. This contribution will be set in the budget window, etc., etc. Okay. Tutorial completed. All right. Oh, yeah. We get one more free building we can put down. The private helipad for a tour of the city. Yes. We can take our own private tour of the city, chat. But if chat wants to helicopter ride, chat's got to get up to 500 likes. Prices are high, chat. Order now. We can, it becomes a flight simulator and we can actually fly around the city in a helicopter. One like equals one more chance to ride the chopper. My own personal chopper. Would you look at that, chat? Wow. It'd be so cool if we were able to fly that. Oh, man. Somebody's going to have to reach over and tap a button, though. Uh-oh. All right. Wow. Yeah, wow. All right, so now we get to uh, build our own city. This is going to be cool. Or our own nation. So eventually we can build a, another city, but I think for now we should try to build a, a little bigger city. So let's see what we can do. Make it a little bit bigger. So a lot of the demands are low right now. So we'll at least do more housing. Let's take a look at unemployment. Unemployment, wow, is at 0.2%. Uh, so we need a lot more people in the city. Okay. So yeah, we need a lot more people in the city. Because otherwise, if we build new bi uh, bi businesses, nobody's going to work there because there's simply <laughs> barely anybody without a job. Everybody's got a job. We're going to get some people here to move. And uh, be ready to take new jobs. We need a high school. Uh, I think right now we need uh, power production. Yeah, we have brownouts right now. Ooh. I'd rather have brownies. Okay, let's build some more power producers. I want to try to keep things clean a little bit. But we could try to settle for a coal power plant to start with. That's 12,000 plus... $900 monthly cost. Wow. If we build the coal power plant, we'd only have 100 extra dollars a month in the budget. That's that's not good. Well, there's no way to rotate these. I hate it. Eventually, we'll probably uh, build a, a nuclear power plant or something. I heard in another strain that at this point in the game, it doesn't give you the option to make a curved road. I don't know if you get curved roads at all. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know the whole curved road thing is a big turnoff for some, but it's okay for me. I see the other things that are... That make this game special, but I, I could see I could see why you wouldn't like that. Okay, so that's like our main road there. How's traffic? Traffic is at Okay. We should probably upgrade this road. 
to an actual street. And we'll worry about road upgrades and stuff later on. We want to be profitable. We make lots and lots of money. This city needs to be incredibly profitable so we can send the money to our next city that we build. So we want our next city to be well funded too. Will an all grid design make traffic uh, congestion? Probably, but we have options to fight that. We can build metro systems, we can build buses, we can build uh, avenues and such. Avenue's a little wider, but we're going to have to start thinking about that now as avenues. Or we could build a highway system. So that way you could go from this part of the city, get on the highway, and go to that part of the city. Pretty. Oh, well, there's a terrain tool. There you go, chat. Level terrain. It's probably, it's probably really expensive. But I, for one, like the fact that the city's not flat, because oftentimes that's expensive and impossible to do. So there are terrain options. There's also decorative options, too, to build, like, little boardwalks and stuff to raise that property value they were talking about. So let's see what those are. I know there's a way to beautify Is it this one? Let's see. There's an option to make like a beautiful little uh, pathway somehow. Alright, well, didn't know there was a train tool, but now we do. It looks nice. Beach fun option in the game? There may be. I, I'm trying to look for something that lets you decorate. I know it's here. I've done it before. Oh, here it is. Parks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. We can make, like, pedestrian walkways... Basketball courts. You can build stuff on the beach that way. So that's cool. Build a nice little walkway around the back. Yeah. See, that looks nice. That's really cool. What we could do is we could actually build like some basketball courts and stuff here or just plant some trees, you know. Something like that. Yeah, it's really neat that you can build like the little pedestrian walkways. I mean, it, it raises your uh, city's value and stuff a bit. And of course, those land values being higher means that more businesses want to move in. More people will pay to live in the nicer areas. They will pay a high price. Yes. Money. It kind of looks nice tiered like that. Bum, bum. Gas station sim? Soon. Soon. Uh, we do a basketball. Oh, yeah. So now we can do basketball courts and stuff down by the beach. That's cool. So instead of, like, building a bigger city, we can build a better city that then more people will want to live in by increasing the property values and all that stuff so that's cool all right so what should we focus on oh a marina Ooh, we can oh we can build docks oh what that's beautiful oh we can build a nice yeah we can build some beautiful docks here Okay, hold on. First, we need water production. Pumping station costs 600. Nah, I'm not willing to pay that much yet. 
All right, so we can put a marina down. That's cool. Put a water tower over here by the uh, the solar district. All right, let's put down a marina. Let's see if we can make that look nice. Level terrain. What's up, anonymous coward? How are you doing? Welcome. a little closer. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Beach Volleyball Pog! I'm about as excited for that as I am for the next person to click or tap join and become a member today and uh, unlock some extra perks for all of chat. Will it be you, viewer? No. Oh, okay. Well, maybe somebody else then. Hopefully. Maybe one day. Okay, so I think we gotta make it deeper? Wait, it was green for a second. What happened? Oh, okay. I see. We just gotta lower this land. Oh, nice. It's true, I do need to read off a new pun soon. Okay, let's see. We'll build a marina here, and we can build another one next to it, too. Oh, beautiful. Wow. That's nice. The most triggering thing about City Skylines... I, can, I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to make something nice on the water in City Skylines, and no matter what you do... You could try, you, like you could try to level out the land and the water as perfectly as possible. Every time you build a dock or something that has like a pier or like a, some sort of like structure in the water, the dock is always built like six thousand miles into this. Like it's literally above the clouds, and then there's like support beams that go on infinitely into the water, and it's like, bro, oh, this is beautiful. What a hell of a city! Ooh, a more basic manufacturing requirement. All right. Poglad Beach is beautiful. That is making me Bob, Ro oh, Bob, Bob Ross Beach. Yeah. Bob Ross Beach is making me Poglad so hard. I am pogging so hard. Okay, that's going to require more power plants. So let's get that before it becomes a problem. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Yep, there's a subway and mass transit thing. And buses and stuff. We already have an airport. How do I feel about the grid system? Hated it. Hated it at the start of the game, and now I'm used to it, and I find it, like... I, for the more and more of these games that I've played, I feel like things that restrict me in games make me more creative because it's like a lot of life, as some of you older people may know, it's not about like solving problems or finding solutions, but sometimes working around things that are just immovable. So, you know, sometimes in City Skylines, there's limits. You can get mods, but even the mods are limited to a certain point too. So it's like, and your abilities are limited as well. So... You feel the best in a game when you've try when you see the rules and maybe you've added some mods and stuff to try to like expand upon what the game will let you do. So you know it's like you're given a toolbox. Sometimes you, there's ways you can get extra tools, but if you're trying to paint a painting, sometimes like even if the painting's not the greatest thing ever, you're really proud of where you were before, or you know like you didn't think you could do it and then it looks this good. So it's like I had no idea this city would look this great. Yeah, challenges will make you a little bit better. And that's Super Pog. Ultra Pog. Pog glad. Oh, that's that's beautiful, man. Can I get a shout out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe or become a member today. Shout out, Chad. Yeah, that is the fun part. Now, of course, you want features in here too to make it a fun game cuz like is the game worth my money? 
you know like that's the other thing too it's like well I don't want to like not have a lot of tools to work with but that's the thing is that when you're that's that's what chat's asking about is not like does it have mass transit it's more like what like that's another tool for tr transportation and stuff like that yeah like logging and stuff and mining and manufacturing that way I think that's a thing in the game later on but we'll get we'll get to that soon enough right now we're gonna try to make the city look prettier while we try to raise our our tax income if we can do that we can give ooh, the people more services and with more services, that means, of course, more people, and they'll become wealthier, and then, of course, we can charge more taxes. Which is good, because then we can build stuff we want to build, like uh, roads and stuff. Alright, well, from here on out, we've got to start upgrading our road system. We've gotten away with the gravel road system. The gravel road system costs us nothing, so if we start upgrading the roads, it's going to start getting a little pricey. The roads are okay for now. Okay, where else can we build into? Definitely can build down here along this beach. And we can build around the mountain. We could build like a little neighborhood up here. We should start using avenues. We gotta build an avenue now. What is that road? I don't know what that one is. I'm going to build a avenue here that goes across. Uh, a poorly uh, resigned and unstable re reactor would look great in the background. Yeah, we could go with something like an RBMK reactor. I know those don't explode. So that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't Avenue look too much back there? I don't know. I don't want it to be ugly. That's what that would look like, huh? Okay. Well. And if I the Avenue's wider than the current road, so we'd have to delete some stuff in the city. So I don't want to do that. What if we could do some tunneling? Well, let's try to do what chat suggested and trying to level some of the land. Um, well, actually, we could build the avenue from the airport. Do you need to connect the marinas to the... Uh, no, I think they just work automatically, but I can. If Jack gets to 400 likes, otherwise these unfortunate marinas are just going to have to be disconnected and no one will be able to get to their boats, triggering Chat's OCD. Oh well, Chat, those are the taxes you have to pay. I wish there was some other way around it, Chat, but I'm just not able to, just can't do it. I wish there was some sort of way, Chat. I got an idea, we're going to build this far away. I'm going to build to the airport. Nice. Now, I hope the game is smart enough to, like, if we build this beautiful avenue here, I hope the AI is smart enough to take this to work rather than the, not the shortest route, but the fastest route. Sometimes... City Builder games can't differentiate. Okay, we'll actually build nice roads to these now. That's nice. Ooh, pretty. Goes uphill. <laughs> Amen, brother. We 
probably should have called this like I guess this this part of the uh, island is gonna be called Truck County because like if you don't have a lifted truck you ain't getting over these asphalt roads there's no way all right I can't stand it either I can't we have to do it there I'll fix chat you're welcome All right, what else do we got? Some nice little, like little parks and stuff, little plazas, really. Oh, these are small ones. We'll figure out what else to build. What are we up to? Seventeen hundred. Nice. Money's still going up, a little by little. Power grid is solid at 89%. Did that alleviate any traffic problems? That's all right. But now that we built through here, now we can build like a little extension here. There's some nice flat areas we can work in. I don't want the whole map to be covered in buildings, you know? It looks a little more realistic to leave some of the hills and mountains alone and stuff like that. Flatten out this terrain a little bit around the government center. Okay. Rounded schools. You want me to build another one? That's going to cost money. Or we could upgrade again. And we'll hire some more teachers. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone's gonna have to deal with that. Oh wait, yeah, I'm the mayor. I forgot. Well, um let's see. We could build a police station. Would that go and arrest the fire for committing crimes or no? Okay. Maybe we'll go with the fire station then. Yeah, just get the water bottles, chat. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, just pour water bottles on it. That's that'll work. That's fine. Alright, we'll build our fire station here. This is actually a pretty good central part of town. Kind of. Chat, I fixed it. Okay, so that'll deal with that. Oh, we got unemployment now is up to 17%. Good, now we can build some uh, new commercial buildings. So there's plenty of people ready for jobs. Yo, Shane, thanks for clicking and tap and join and becoming a raptor egg again. Thank you very much for the support. Let's do a few puns, shall we? Let's read a few puns for chat. Let's do that. I'll give chat three puns. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Uh, what does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back for seconds. Oh, yes. What did the buffalo say to his son? 
Bye, son. <laughs> oh, those are good. Very punny. Oh, the town looks nice. No, that's a lot of damage. I got to say, the assets in the game look really nice. Pretty. Your jokes are not funny. Well, that's good because they're not my jokes. I got them from a website. Michael Morrison, thanks for five. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to have you here. Well, it looks like the fire got put out. Oh, now we're only making six hundred and fifty-two dollars. Oh. All right, now we gotta get that unemployment solved. So, where are we gonna build some more businesses? Gotta build some businesses. Let's build some commercial offices up here. And a new town, too. I don't want to use the leveling tool too much. I want to try to work with the terrain. connected. of offices. You like the boats? Me too. I like the little marina we built. It looks nice. Very pretty. Uh oh, power grid's at 97%. Alright, I think we're gonna have to build uh, another diesel generator because the solar just ain't cutting it. Spendy, but we're gonna do some aggressive expansion. Bum, 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 bum. Water shortages again, okay. How much is a pump? 600, wow. 90 per water tower, but we only have like what three water towers? Build another one over there. All right, unemployment now down to 10%. Nice. And we're building more offices. Very good.
Okay, looks like manufacturing is increasing again. We could also do some farming, but we can do farming in a whole different city. Which is going to be kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Some nice buildings being built. Okay, we should probably focus on decorations so everybody will actually upgrade their houses and stuff. So, raising that uh, property value. Is this better than City Skylines? Well, this certainly has some features that aren't in City Skylines currently, but I certainly would love to see a new City Skylines and what they did to uh, compete with their current game and also all the other games that have come out since they've come out. It'll be a, it's going to be an interesting time. Oh, we should uh, raise the land here. Well, now that we now that we know we can raise the land and stuff, that's going to be really cool. We'll add some trees. Large plaza. Ooh, a gazebo. Ooh. Ready. Oh, look at that. There can even be, like, little ramps down. Oh, that's wonderful. So there's much, much more to this game than just, like, ugly grid. It actually looks good. And there's a lot of stuff you can do. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I think we'll add a few little... That's really cool that they actually put that in. Elevation and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks nice. good boys amen that's very nice Hopefully that raises the property value around here. Let's throw down a basketball court too, maybe? That looks good. 
Out on the beach, kind of like that. Nice. Okay, what else do we got? Flowers we could put down? Yeah, we'll just put stuff in random plots of the city to make it look nice. Like over here. Looking real good, boys. Bum, 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 bum. All right, that looks cool. Doing this, this is why I wanted to do a, a shoreline, by the way, because it looks really nice. We got room to expand down here and do stuff like that too. All right, let's take a look at traffic. I okay, definitely need to upgrade this road. Let's make this a, a nice road. All the way down to the ocean. Nice. Starting to look good. Could also do bus stops and such. That might be actually a little profitable too. Alright, population is at 10,000. So now we got to start worrying about approval ratings. 52% unemployment down to 9%. Nice. Yeah, we could do uh, roads with trees down the middle. Yep. Yeah, we could do that down here, actually. Let's make a nice little, uh... Make a nice little block here. Ooh. Maybe no trees here. Ah, oh, yeah. It could change. Oh, look at that. It can be like little pier. Oh, wow. This game actually allows you to build piers and stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a little weird from the edge of the road, but. Wow. Oh, is it raining? Wow. Very pog. Yep, we built a Pier 1 Imports now, chat. Haha, <laughs> it looks cool. Hey, but doing that matters, right? People want to live in nice areas and they'll pay more for it, so it helps us out. I think the slower we go in this game, the better time we'll have, too. Alright, they want more industrial buildings. We should make a new industrial sector somewhere nearby. Could definitely, we could do industrial up here. And in fact, we could build an avenue that connects to the edge of the map there.
That connects to the edge of the world up there. And we can build an industrial area up here. Looking good and profitable. Department of Commerce, if we enact three policies and get 25,000 population. Okay, so our first goal has got to get to like 25,000 population. And then we can enact two new... We can enact more policies and such. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. Is there a night mode? Yeah, there's a day-night cycle. It kind of comes and goes. I don't know if you can turn it off or adjust it or whatnot, but I'm not, not sure. Enact a TOS policy. Yeah, we'll put down our uh, trust and safety heavy armored response brigade. Soon enough. But right, I wonder if, if we put down roads, if that'll actually raise the property value too. There must be a reason to build it other than just fixing traffic. But I think we'll just do it anyway. All right, let's start upgrading streets along the uh, coastline. Big O upgrades. Can you see people in the cars if you zoom in? Uh, maybe. I will take a look. What? How come he... How could traffic be busy to the generators? There's like two people that would work there. Not like a Walmart. Oh, there we go, yeah. Traffic's looking better in some places. And we got our Pog Pogoda. That's looking nice. All right, unemployment at ten percent. Let's see if we can put in some more commercial buildings somewhere.
Can a comment come uh, if you wish upon a star? I'm assuming you're referring to disasters. Uh, there's natural fire and such in the game. Natural disasters like that. Or maybe more man-made, but... I haven't seen earthquakes or anything like that just yet. What's up, Swordfish? Good to see you. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks, guys, for smack and join to support the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're all enjoying your week so far. And if not, I'm with you. It's all good. We're all here together, and this city is looking mighty fine. Like chat. Chat's looking Bob Ross beautiful today. Looking good, chat. Looking good. Power outages again? Man, if we build a... Oh, it looks like water problems, too. All right, the big problem is if we upgrade to a water pump, that's 600. And if we upgrade to a uh, coal power plant, that's 900. So that's like $1,800 a month, right? Well, actually... Mm -mm. Could be more, because if I don't get rid of these uh, water towers, oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade because we should be able to sell power to the other uh, cities too that we build. Again, remember we're not just building one city; we're building a nation. But the capital city has to be able to support the other. Uh, the other uh, cities in the in the nation in whole. All right, I'm going to take a big risk, and we're going to delete all the water towers. We're going to build a pumping station and a coal power plant, probably over here. And goodbye to all of our money. What about a nuclear power plant? Well, that's even more expensive. <coughs> Monthly cost on that is twenty-seven eighty, and costs ninety-five thousand to build. So we won't be able to afford that just yet. There's also fusion power plants that we can get, but not yet. Soon. Terraforming's like only a couple bucks in this game, so that's not not bad. Well, it's a hell of a hell of a jump to get out of work, but yeah. All right, I'll fix it, I'll fix it.
Yay. Okay, and then we want to just like flush it up a little bit, smooth it out. Okay, hopefully that deals with our power plant issue. Oh, and we can actually increase the uh, number of generators used. So right now we can produce 4,000 and increase it if we need to. All right, let's build a water facility. A water pumping station. Hmm. Yeah, the mountain map's really nice, I agree. You love the soundtrack? Oh, yeah. Well, this isn't in-game music. This is just some generic stuff from uh, Pretzel, but I certainly do like myself some uh, good old music. Can we build anywhere? Oh, okay, so we can, we can build on the ground. Well, let's build over by the uh, solar array. We'll keep some city utilities over here. Yo, Wolf Nautic, thank you very much, dude, for the big O10. Appreciate the support. Thank you. My water plant here. Thank you very much. Well, that looks interesting. Okay, let's see how that does. All right, water usage now cut down to 35% and power down to 68. Now we gotta worry about getting them profits up again. We gotta get back over that 1,000. But now we're not gonna be hindered by uh, power anymore or water. Let's upgrade the school again. Increased number of teachers to 80. Oh, wow, that is one hell of a school. Alright, so we've got a capacity for 1,800 students and we've got 1,000 in the city. Okay. Good. Now we got a lot of room to expand. Is there any DLC for this game? I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't see any. I didn't DLC any. Lol. 80 teachers? Yeah, I guess. Oh, this is like right in the middle of your class. It's just you get like another te teacher just steps out, another one steps in. They just work in half shifts. Uh, I suppose some of them are probably like, um... Some teachers are probably like substitutes, I don't know. And maybe, maybe it shouldn't just say student, uh, teachers, it should just say staff. Because it's like, you gotta have like uh, people to make lunch, you gotta have uh, the principal, uh, janitors, other staff, you know. Alright, well now we've really solved a lot of our city's problems. Now we just gotta grow. Oh, and now that the generators are gone, we can turn this into a neighborhood. Oh boy, 
Can you trigger cataclysms in this? I don't think so. You might be able to, like, get a nuclear explosion if you build a nuclear power plant and don't give it a good budget. Maybe. Okay, whatever. I'll just build a park there. I'll just build a park. There we go. Everybody's happy now. Mandatory happiness. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's see, our safety is at 17. Ooh, and the budget has uh, not gone good. Uh-oh. Employment's at 10. Let's get some more businesses. Bob Ross would be proud. I hope so. I hope Bobbert... Bobbert J. Ross is happy. With our city building. Bum, 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 bum. I guess we'll build a whole row of buildings here. Separate it from that section. There we go. All right, more commercial buildings mean more industrial demand. Ooh, airplanes coming in. Or going out. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Bro. Raise, tuck in your landing gear, bro. He's not like at cruising altitude now, jeez. Okay. Let's take a look at traffic again. Eh, not bad. Pull up. Landing gear. Yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's a tropical island, yeah. And remember, we're only building one city. We get to... The cool thing about this is that, like, when we get... What I really would like in City Skylines is imagine if you got bored of one city in City Skylines, but then you could like connect it to the edge of the map and build a new city and kind of like buy or import some of the goods from the city that you just made. So the power and some of the people and some of the, some of the problems from your other city could either be resolved by your new city or impacted by your old city. So like if you had a lot of people, but you know, you're finding it hard to educate everybody, you build a couple schools in your new city people can come on over and go to school in your new city. That'd be pretty cute. Amen, brother. Yeah, SimCity 4000, yeah, or, or 4, yeah. 
SimCity 4 and SimCity 2013, you could do that, yeah. Uh, that's those are the best parts about those games. I don't know why C City Skylines needs to include that. Like I want to connect cities together, and we need to have multiplayer. We need to have multiplayer, multiplayer, multiplayer. All right, the goal now has to be to increase the total population of the country to uh, 25,000. So we're getting there. Uh, how do you keep all the games and their features and versions straight in your mind, Rap? It baffles me. Um, just playing a lot of games, I guess, over time. Makes me more of, a, makes me more of an elite gamer. I don't know, it's just like what you do at work, like sometimes you have to use a computer, other times you might have to drive a forklift, or... You know, I would say, like, I don't, I don't think there's any jobs nowadays that really you don't have to learn how to use some sort of an operating system, to which many are horrible, that companies choose. I feel like, at this point, by the way, especially of all the jobs that I've worked, I feel like we could probably... The, like, maybe the kids junior year of high school, they do nothing but just learn, like, Microsoft Excel that entire year. No gym, no photography, no math, no English, just Excel. That's it. Here, we're going to dump a bunch of data off on you. Get it done, Billy. That's it. Uh, airport has insufficient international connections. Oh boy. I don't know if I want to upgrade the airport again just yet. Excel is horrendous, yeah, but every company always wants you to like do this with this sheet, do that with that sheet. But unemployment is down to 9%, looking good. That's an Excel and idea. Now chat, come on, don't be funny in chat, because then you're going to make me look, you're going to make me look dumb with your good jokes. Stop it, chat. Let's build a couple of stores up here, low density. We've been going mostly medium density this whole time, so... I see a lot more spaces where we can build nice beaches and things like that. Alright, where can we improve the city the most? Let's see. Alright, unemployment, uh, corruption, freedoms. Oh, these are all like for our approval rating. Unemployment. Oh, that's inflation numbers, okay. Population increase. Now we could start setting some new policies so that way we can change things up a little bit. Uh, let's worry about Let's see, we're at plus 860. Let's do pensions. Oh, 
things would score us points. Um, Civil Rights Index, we could increase that by like one point. Ooh, it would increase the social ladder. Which, does that give us... Oh! Oh, it also increases the birth rate. Okay. Hmm. So if we give if we give pensions, that increases the birth birth rate. Let's do that because we want more people in the city. Uh, unemployment increase to the birth rate. If we get our population up, it unlocks more things, so that's why we want to kind of increase that a little bit, a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go, 15,000. Alright, now we just got 10 to go. Healthcare. Ooh, plus two. Damn, that's gonna give us like almost a like a seven percent. Oh, it also increases retail and advanced manufacturing. Increases health too, to which we have no hospital at all. All right, I'm going for that birth rate. Plus two. Okay, a little expensive, but it'll increase the birth rate. And that, of course, will get us more uh, people in the city faster. And it looks like they already want more jobs. Good. It had an effect already. More people being born. Factories there. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Oh, there's some videos already on the channel for that one. Enjoy. They're pretty good. I enjoyed that game. Wow, the power grid is already being used at 89%. Damn. Alright, let's try to get something going for healthcare. If we do that, I'm sure more people will move into the city. Because we literally got nothing. We don't even have a hospital. $650 a month for the hospital. Dear God. Let's build a hospital here. That's fine. In fact, do a little terraforming this way. Well, it's kind of weird. It's like the hospital built in reverse. Maybe. 
Yeah, that's fine. Alright, good. Now we have a hospital. And health has already increased to 38. Wow, not bad. Not bad. Okay, employment down to 8%. Good. 50% approval rating. Good. Um, wow, power usage at 91%. Okay, we need a police station next. But it's probably going to be more than the 366. We need more money. Man, a lot of vehicles coming out of there. feel like it's irresponsible putting a hospital on the beach. Oh, come on. If you had to go to the hospital, at least be nice to look at the boats coming in. It'll lift people's spirits. It'll be nice. We have a beautiful city. Our city was voted number one in all of the nation. It's the only city, but you know. You love it, Chad. What if you have to go to the go, go to the hospital because a typhoon hit? It's a good question. You, you guys should in, insult uh, consult your uh, insurance company. What's up, Outset? How you doing? Welcome. Now yeah, we'll just put some trees there. Nice. All right, so we have a fire department, we have a school, we have a power plant, we have marinas. That looks really, really nice. I wonder if I could build like a little boardwalk section here. Oh no. That looks kind of nice. I wish we could put trees in these little squares. That looked nice. It looks like more manufacturing jobs are popping off, and the power plant needs to be upgraded again. Okay. Let's build some more factories.
Okay, a couple more factories. I guess we could put a couple more here. Yep. That's what I want. That looks good. Looks good. Oh, we're, we're big time profitable now, baby. Amen. Well, big time is in a big change in where we were. What's up, John? Good to see you in the chat. How y'all doing? Yeah, we need to rit reticulate them splines, baby. Well, hopefully we can get that population up higher so we can actually have a need for, like, a, a train and some other stuff, too. Trains, buses. I want to put something on the top of that hill. A Wendy's. A beacon of hope for our people. We could put another pagoda up there. That looked nice. Oh, can we only have one? Or does it have to be connected to a road? Oh, it has to be connected to a road. Darn. Let's take a look at roads. Not bad, a little traffic here. I guess we could start upgrading our roadways. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this game's fun. I'm, I'm, after not playing it for a long time, I feel like I understand it a lot more and am more profitable than ever before. The game was always a struggle, but I, I think we're doing really well now. As long as we kind of make sure we control our spending a bit. The roadways, for example, will be expensive, but it may also increase our uh, city density. Unemployment's good. Approval rating is at 53%. Nice. Nice. I like to have some buffer zones between the uh, different little districts and stuff that you can see. It looks good. Could probably also get rid of these uh, solar plants now that our power usage is so low. Let's completely destroy those. There we go. Now we're at plus like a thousand a month. Could. Map is so small. Well, the map's not necessarily small. It's like we have half of it is a coastline. But keep in mind that it's not about building one city, we have to build a nation. So, if we go back to our nation view, and we take a look at our wonderful republic. Yeah, now you can see our little city built here. And so now, if we build a city here... Oh, we could actually build like a, a city that passes through the mountain to the other side. Ooh. So we could actually, we could build another nice city here. We could use this city as kind of like a pass-through. Build like a highway system that goes straight through the mountains, and then boom, we can build on the other side of the mountain too. Or we could build over here. But I think this area is great. 
Yeah, so that we get to build in any of those large sections that you saw, any of those grid squares, making some cities a little bigger, some cities a little smaller, some more challenging, some more easy. And I think there's also a way to build ports for export. I think we have to research that. I, Something like that, I think. Apparently we're making zero dollars now. Oh, there it goes. Nine, nine, five. Good. Uh-oh. Um. Well, I guess the plane's just sitting in the field. <laughs> Looks nice though. We should build like another marine. We should build something out here. Not on this island. We could build like another pagoda out here. That looked nice. Now we can build our Pagoda. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Now that's nice. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That's amazing. And it kind of connects to the main road. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's better. That's nice. Okay, wow, now we're making $1,300. Very nice. Home inequality is at critical levels. Um, citizens do not feel safe. I don't blame them. Well, now that we got a lot of money, let's go ahead and build a police station. build a police station. Maybe we build it over here? No. Oh yeah, over here. Assassin Raptor, thanks for upgrading to a little Raptor. Appreciate the support. Welcome to a higher tier of support. Thank you very much. Big O shout out. Thank you. I guess we could just build a nice little uh, park area back here.
Uh, that's weird. There we go. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, you'd think there, there's not a lot of uh, options to customize in this grid-based game, but it's amazing how much they've done with wanting to go with that type of uh, style of building. That's pretty amazing. I like it. Employment's at 10. That's not too bad. Oh, there we go. 9 now. Oh, and profits are coming in, baby. Alright. Hospital dropped down to 19%, though. That's got to be overcrowding. Where'd I put our hospital? more doctors and we're gonna need to upgrade again but we need money money we need money Could build a nice little bo uh, walkway along the whole side of the p city here. <coughs> That'll look nice. I was trying to go with that boardwalk. No, thank you. Nicer than a regular sidewalk, that is. What is up there, Illusion? Good to see him. Oh, we could do a little marina out here in the bay, too. It'd be, wouldn't this be nice if we could set up a little beach area here uh, for people to come down and be perfect for swimming? It almost looks like a... Damn, you could almost build an amusement park in there. Like a little... Uh, Water slides and stuff. I wonder if I could build like a pathway out there. Oh, that's great. It always builds lower than what I want it to. I'd love for it to be the little wooden path, but it's built a little lower than I want it to. But just imagine there being stairs at either end. SimCity Societies? Oh, man. I do remember that game. That game was something else. One's in the chat. Do you guys remember SimCity so Societies? That was crazy. Yeah. That was a crazy one. Yeah, whenever there's issues, they'll pop up here below this thing here. So, like, for example, the lack of high schools leads to whatever. What we're basically focusing on is trying to get our population to 25,000 and to be profitable. So, solving problems requires money. But being negative money, bad. Don't want negative money. Money, good. Want more. In other words, the more we ignore problems, the more profitable we'll be. Wait, what? Now the, the altitude of the marinas have changed. Oh my goodness. Oh well. It's probably from reloading that save. Some things got a little changed. Bum, bum, bum. 
Like that's why the airport looks so weird. Must be high tide, yeah. Well, we could do some farms if we want to, yeah. That's something we could do. There's a big demand for advanced manufacturing, though. A massive demand for that. Where would we build advanced manufacturing? Here. You want me to build an advanced auto parts? Yeah, maybe that's what they mean by advanced. You think that's what they mean by advanced manufacturing? We're gonna like prefab and advanced auto parts. That's what they meant the whole time. I think it's off by one. Up by half a one. Hard to tell with that elevation like that. Uh, let's build a road that goes into the ground a bit. Maybe we can build... I don't know if we can build tunnels. But we can flatten the terrain. Oh, that's nice. It's not even that expensive to do. Yeah, a lot of other games are freeform and they're challenging with their, uh, like for example, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic is a freeform game with like no grid guidance guidance system at all, which I wish it did have one. Like, it, like Workers and Resources is completely like freeform. I don't think there's really any grid system in that game at all for anything, and it sometimes makes it tricky because um, you want to try to fit as sometimes you want to try to fit as many things in an area as you can, and so to try to maximize that space usage, you have to like. Um, in order to maximize that space usage, you have to really put a lot of effort in. Like, you, you'll spend, like, two days on pause before you unpause in that game. And then you gotta monitor everything to make sure it all works correctly. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the electricity in City Skyline. Alright, in, uh... I really like that, though. I like what they did with that game. In, uh, Workers and Resources. Because you actually have to set up a legit power grid. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, this area was pretty rocky to build in, so it's all good. Oh, nice! Like a, I think we could have built a tunnel here, but that that actually kind of looks cool. All right, Department of Commerce. Now we can build. We've unlocked that with 25,000 population. Now we can start doing more economic stuff. Wow, look at that. We're profitable like crazy. 2,000. Beautiful. Except for the power outages. Well, goodbye money. Hey, what's up, Primetime Gaming? Thanks for the four months as a Raptor Plus. Yeah! Thanks for... Drop it in, man. How am I doing? I'm good. I'm re I'm enjoying this game more than I ever did before. I understand it a little bit more than I did previously. Not not by much, but I like it. I am so... Ones in the chat, if you were, like, mad at that airport for, like, disappearing. It seems to still be working, but... I don't know. Why? Right, let's build that new building. Yes, ramen packets in chat and hashtag primetime gaming. Thanks again for dropping in. Okay, now we can build our uh, Department of Commerce, which unlocks economic uh, choices for our city or our nation. Well, Department of Commerce would be cool up here by all these other buildings. Let's build it up here. Now we can make uh, new economic decisions. Uh, tariffs, finance, starting a business, innovation, copyright and patents, retail regulation, Clean Air Act. Let's start with starting a business. Uh, let's see. Three day simple verification process. 14 day extensive. Declaration form only. Hmm. Increases the rise on the social ladder. Retail 1.5. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, it does hurt police and fire, though. Oh. It'll drop that down by 3%. Oh, with the money we'll generate, we'll build... We'll build more fire departments. Finance. Um, regulation of banks, trusts, and financial products. Is there a ban NFTs option? Uh, control risky and financial firms and products. Control all financial transactions. Uh, approval from the right would be 20%. I think we'll keep that one. Tariffs, low, medium, or high. Tariffs on imported goods. Basic manufacturing will suffer. <laughs> it actually earns us $54. Sure. About city builders, are you excited for High Rise City? Ooh, that's not one I've heard of. Innovation. Restrictions on research and development. Subsidized government approval can only be conducted by government. Ooh, if we subsidize it... Ooh. Giving money to research projects... Actually helps health and education. I'm going with that. Hell yeah. Copyrights and patents. Uh, enforcement of intellectual property. Um, you 
Enforce for all sectors. Criminalize violations of intellectual property. Whoa. Offices and advanced manufacturing would like that. How the hell is that hurt? Oh, a health healthcare system. Yeah, they can take a hit. That'll help out advanced manufacturing and offices will be ha happy about that one. Business will be happy about that one. Retail regulation. Monthly inspect limited opening hours. Uh, no regulation. Uh, prosecute informal and unlicensed vendors. Monthly inspections. With government approval, limited operating hours. Hell no. Uh, we're going to go with... Ooh, that also helps advance manufacturing again. I want to try to do more advanced manufacturing, so let's go with that one. And the Clean Air Act. Additional taxes on polluting industries in urban areas. We'll go with that one. All right, government. Oh, we have uh, new options for private schools. Wait. Okay, we did all these. Let's do government rules. Private schools. Uh, allow private universities only. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh, damn. Plus five. Ooh. Yeah, our education system sucks. Let's go with private schools banned. We gotta improve our educational system. It's not great. We gotta get more people big brain. We need we need more big brains in the chat, and then we need more big brain jobs. Alcohol and tobacco. Oh boy. Uh well, we could go the Swedish way. Guess we'll add a tax. It doesn't seem to. Oh, it increases the birth rate. Yeah, it looks like population control is popping off, so I think I'm going to change my immigration policy next and chill out on the. Uh... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do 20%, 40%. Yeah, we can slow down on migrants and such. Can't you click on the additional tab to open the policy menu? Uh, what? Well, I could only... Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, vehicle taxes. Uh, anything to help education? No. Anything to help safety? That does cut down pollution. That'd be fine. Alright, so next we need the Department of Social Affairs to work on societal issues, but... Oh, damn, on our decisions, holy crap, 2700, baby? Woo! What the hell? Whoa. Raptor, good. Make brain smart. Yeah. Hell, we're using a lot of water. All right, we're making some good money now, baby. Income inequality is critical. Let it uh, To reduce inequalities, the middle class must grow faster. Better schools, lower tax rates on the middle class, and the eradication of corruption. Okay. Um. No. 
Money one. Tax, good. Give. Okay, let's see. Um I think when we get the when we get the uh, societal affairs department, that'll that'll be when things really start popping off. Maybe I'll let chat vote on those. We'll do a poll system. We'll let chat vote on some of the decisions. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Check out Saurian. It's pre-alpha, but it's great. Um, I did I already play that game? Wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna check Steam real quick. Oh, Saurian. Oh no, I haven't played that. Ooh, dinosaurs. Cool. Prime Time Gaming has upgraded to a Raptor Ultimate. Woo! Bro. Big O upgrade. Get them ramen packets flowing. That is awesome. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade. That's a big O upgrade. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more advanced manufacturing. Um, healthcare is okay. Schools we need to improve on. Schools we definitely we need more big brains now. And to be fair, we only have one elementary school, so it's not really fair to everybody in the town. Hey, but the city's growing. Damn, look at that. That's a lot of pollution. Oops. Hopefully we can delete this with a nice part of town and we'll put the uh, factories on the outskirts. Like over there and over there. Um, okay, more schools. But first, let's make sure our current school is fully upgraded. Which is where? There it is. Alright, let's build another elementary school and then we'll build a high school. <sighs> Goodbye, money. Okay, not bad. And the high school... Monthly cost is 400. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, a high school. High school. They want all that money. <laughs> We're a little over capacity, but that's not too bad. Only by 42. We'll have the kids play Fortnite to find out for their education. The strong will win. Oh, hell yeah, brother. All right, let's uh, build advanced manufacturing. What's up, Felix? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. It's pretty cool. Like if you, like in City Skylines and in this game, if you like slow down and really put a lot of care into it, everything that you do, it'll it'll be a little bit more than just a grid-based building game. 
It totally is, but it'll be more than that. I'll throw some trees down in there. Nice. Hey, Shrikey Poo, how you doing? Welcome to the Big O Strim. The Big Strim. Alright, healthcare is at 53, education is at 35, that's better than it was. Sense of security, that means we probably should do more, probably should upgrade the fire department. I don't know... I don't know how to see crime, and I don't know how to see fire. Is there a way to see crime? Inequality is at 36%. Unemployment 63. Oh, that's uh, the approval of each side. Never mind. We're leaning towards a liberal democracy just a little bit. Left tab. Oh, thank you. Wait. Left tab. Yeah, we're still in the middle. The title will change when you actually, like, change enough. Look on the shield. Yeah, but I don't know... So this shows sense of security, but that includes fire and includes police, so I don't know, like... What, what does, what does this mean? Like, which, which buildings are in risk of fire and which ones are like, risk of crime? Or is it coverage? I guess a, maybe a purple building would be that red and blue make purple, so they would have fire and police. Look at the stats button. Oh good, people are actually leaving the... There's an increase here, that's good. People are moving into middle class, excellent. Corruption is at 0.2%. Unemployment is... Policies, unemployment taxes, inflation... Oh, corruption's at 8%, okay. So security is low, we want security to be higher. So we gotta invest in fire and um, Well corruption's low. Well let's take a look at like yearly. 
Oh, okay. So we have more people, so thus there needs to be more policing and there needs to be more fire departments. Otherwise, they can't cover all the buildings and stuff. So we need more money. Yeah, I'll probably put a fire department here, then a police station over here, so that way they have a mix of both coverage. But that's going to require a lot more money, and there's a huge request for advanced manufacturing again. Yeah, a little facility there is nice. There's more, more specific policies. Yeah, these little cards show us what they do, but... Uh, what population do we need to get to to unlock the... Civil. Social affairs is a population of 50,000. Okay. Well, I'm going to focus on getting some more cash. Luckily, we're plus 1,000 now, so that means we can get some more fire departments down. And police stations, so let's do a... What's more expensive? Police station is... 370. Okay, let's do the police station first, then.
Some of these roads in the mountains are so tricky to see how they angle up like that. Alright, hopefully all those new factory jobs work out. Hopefully better education makes the uh, basic manufacturing disappear and more advanced jobs come in. At least in the center of town. Because those jobs will give us better pay. Wow, we're I can't believe it. We're actually profitable in this game. I can't believe it. Building in the mountain has made me slow way down and actually like try to give the people a better standard of living, which is good. Let's build a basketball court here. build another marina over here maybe all right let's build a nice little marina Can you imagine an Anarchy City Builder? Yes, the path building in Planet Coaster and or Planet Zoo. That's absolute anarchy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I want a marina. Ah, Savu, thanks for the 25. Welcome to the Big O Strim. run for my night shift but make sure you take care of anybody else smiley face smiley face oh thanks for being here man have a great day that looks nice
Well, that looks nice. Oh, and the city looks really nice too. Look at that. Ooh, baby. All right, so if we can continue to provide housing, we can try to get closer to 50,000. I think we can try to get 50,000 people in the city. A lofty goal, but possibly. Hmm. Well, right, let's do some high density down here. I choose high density and they tried to build a house, like a farmhouse. I guess it's a fan fancy mansion. Oh, well, we're okay with power so far. We are getting close, though, so I'll have to build a backup generator. Well, we'll do that when we get to 97. Should fit in some more of the population. 7% on the unemployment. Uh, less power you produce, the more powerful you are. Well, unless you're Emperor Palpatine, who has unlimited power. Isn't that what you guys want? Unlimited power? Think about how rich you could be if you had unlimited power and then you sold back into the power grid. Imagine that. Imagine if you just told everybody, look, man, I'll give you unlimited power for one dollar. Or imagine if you told everyone watching the stream, dude, I'll let you get unlimited water bottle, crowbar, and even Bob Ross emotes for only 99 pennies. That's literally couch cushion money. That's a pack of gum. Imagine that. Imagine if you could give somebody that power and they could click or tap that join button and become a member. Could you imagine that? That'd be amazing. That's like... That's crazy. I mean, whoa. That's crazy. I feel like we should redo some of our landscape here and make it look nice. Open this up a little bit. That's nice. Wow. You'd rather have unlimited nuggies? Okay, well. Everybody in chat, show everybody your nugs. Look at your unlimited nugs. That's like having unlimited soup and breadsticks from Olive Garden. That's absolute power.
Well, we'll convert our solar panel array to a little neighborhood and we'll connect that. There we go. Well, we're making money again, which means... Wow, look at that. Happiness is... Uh, or, uh, sense of security is at 56. That's awesome. Let's build another hospital then. And try to get that number over 50. Oh, wait a minute. Power usage is at 99. Build a couple of diesel generators. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's do a hospital. Hospital right up here. Chad apparently wants a tsunami proof hospital, so okay. And I don't know why I built down when I flattened out the land. It was trying to link up with that road weirdly. That's annoying. All right, healthcare skyrocketed to 74. Beautiful. All right. Now we'll just wait for some more cash to come in. Wow, we have a 58% approval rating. Nice. 58% approval. Unemployment's at 5%. Not bad. Apparently people have access to religion. Hmm. Plus $77. Nice. Ah, everything's over 50%. The ones that matter, anyway. Uh, did we build the... Oh yeah, the high school is fully upgraded, too. Too many kids, though. Okay, we gotta build another high school. Um, um. Raptor, I see you on the front page of my uh, Steam page playing Reactor. Can you explain how that works? Yep. Whenever I do a live stream or a video of a game, every once in a while a developer will ask me and be like, Hey, I saw you playing my game. Can I like put it on the Steam store page? And I'm like, sure. And so that they 
they get permission to download my video or whatever, and then they can put it on their store page. It's pretty cool. It kind of benefits them more because, like, it shows them people people watching how the game is played, but not many people subscribe and stuff from Steam, but it's still fine. It's kind of nice to be able to show off a game and show how it works and stuff. Kind of cool. Raptors educating the peeps in game in real life. Yeah, there you go. That's a good way to say that. All right. Wow, 57% approval? Nice. Still pretty good. All right, we need a big surplus now, though, so that way we can uh, build a new school. So... Let's go ahead and increase the uh, taxes on the retail. This will allow us to build another school. This is going to benefit retail and offices in the end anyway. Actually, I need way more money than that to build a school. Let's just bring it to 7%. As soon as I build a school, that money's going to be gone anyway. We might even need another elementary school, too. So now, how are we doing with the education? I'm assuming the darker blue means better education, but... Those people just moved in. Alright, so we have 2100 capacity, excellent room to expand. Elementary school is close, but that's good. And we're surplused at 950. Good. Yeah, that's a good question. How many city builders were influenced by SimCity? Probably all of them, you know? Probably all of them. What's up, Big Chin? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome. Am I going... Are we going to see a full playthrough since the full version is available of this game I think um, I have so many games that I want to play and continue to play that we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to kind of play them in little 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 bits Ooh, it looks like uh, manufacturing and such are mad uh, it's probably we need to get unemployment up a little higher to increase the job pool. Oh, we should read some puns because we got some new members too. I'll read uh, two new puns to chat. Towels can't tell jokes. They have a dry sense of humor. I wanted to take pictures of the fog this morning, but I missed my chance. I guess I could do it tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Build some more housing up here. Actually... put it like that.
bum 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 You think a kid came up with those jokes? Ah, that was somebody who was an adult trying to make a joke book for kids, probably. Like Calvin and ha Habs. Cal Cal Calvin Kleins and Habs. Schnapps. Calvin Klein and Schnapps. There you go. There you go, Chad. Well, we're profitable. Basic needs are all over 50. Graphic is looking pretty good, except for a couple minor areas. Nothing nothing too major that we can't easily fix with a road upgrade. We should fix this road. For chat sanity. Let's fix it now. Looking good. Oh. There we go. Cool. And we got some great profits, which is wonderful. Goal is just to try to get to 50 or 55,000, so I think we're down to like the last 10,000. I, th I think it's 50,000, so we're getting there. But we're kind of out of space for a little while. Unless we build down here. Narrow. Bum, 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 bum. I think these numbers are good. Income's looking great. Alright, power's gonna start cutting out if we're not careful, so we gotta build another power plant. We might even be able to go nuclear. Nuclear is 2780. So if we can manage to get a big O surplus, we could do that. Backup generators. Back from grocery shopping, hectic. Oh, well, welcome back. Good to see you. 
Welcome to the Big O Strim. Or we're doing some Big O in the Strim. That's like a buffer road here. Oh, not too bad. A little busy there. Yeah, we'll upgrade that to a road. Beautiful. Beep beep. It's nice to see boats out in the water like that. They're all racing. Ah, oh, Bama Boy for life. Thank you very much for the big O5. Thank you very much for the big O super chat. Yeah. I have converted my GF into a huge fan. We are watching Ooh. live stream on 70 inch TV instead of movie night. Wow. Well, this is kind of like a movie, I guess. Kind of. I don't know. I'll be honest with you guys, though. I've said it before, and I think we've chatted about this on the channel, where it's like, at this point, uh, over the last, last couple of years of uh, all this fun we've been having... Um, I, myself, have burned out of, like, every Netflix show and everything that I've wanted to watch that's not on YouTube and stuff, I've just burnt out on. But when I'm done with my stream, I go and watch other people doing their streams and stuff. And it's nice to watch people just chilling, playing games, and doing things that they're good at. And hanging out. It's all good stuff, so. Thank you very much for the support. And enjoy the big O stream. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that looks nice. It's better than Matrix 4. Well, at least we got Keanu to make another like movie and stuff like that. He's a good guy. Even if the movie sucked, at least Keanu Reeves is a really nice person and uh just a good just a good guy. That's nice. Yeah, we're raising property values that way, which will eventually give us good money. I really want to be able to fix more income inequality, though. Better schools, lower tax rate of the middle class. But then I can't give them better schools. Oh, all right. All Raptor does is eat, sleep, and stream, sometimes all three at once. How do, well, wait, I don't know about that one. How does he t find time for anything else? Well, that's a good question. I've been trying to limit the streams to four hours per stream now, which if I do a four-hour AM stream and a four-hour PM stream, that's eight hours of streaming. But I also still do a lot of work on thumbnails and preparation beforehand and uh, reading Never. emails Welcome. and... Um, uh, trying to uh, do stuff in the Discord and prepare stuff with other people and recording other videos on top of, like, um, all the personal stuff that I do, too. Like, you know, dinner and laundry and cleaning up and keeping things tidy and whatnot. So it's all good. Nostalgia Trip, thank you very much for the four months as a raptor egg. 
Streamaholic? Well, maybe, but uh, streaming's a lot of fun, and honestly, it's a little lazier than recording, because I, I get to hang out live, and when it's over, I get to uh, hop out of here and go grab some food and stuff. But honestly, streaming is great. You guys get to ask questions live, and uh, if I make a mistake or if I don't know something, I can ask chat, and chat will be like, oh yeah, just do this, or whatever. That's cool. The, the, the live interaction is... Uh, it, it's it's positive and chill chill and interactive very nice it's very poglad it's very nice cheers dude absolutely love your streams hey thank you very much for the support yeah, times are tough, so, like, I'm really... It's pretty amazing that so many people have tuned in to watch the stream, to like the stream, to subscribe, to spam emotes, to become members, to drop super chats, to hang out with me in-game, to play on our dedicated servers. It's good. We gotta be more of a, a force for good, because it's way too easy to destroy. If you guys have ever built a sandcastle before, you know. Legos, all that stuff. Way too easy to tip things over and and break things, but to fix things and to make them good, that's hard. That's hard. Ah, now we have some prime real estate for some more expansion. Nice to see the cars. Everybody's car is so loud. Alright, I'm taxing everybody with a noisy muffler. We'll, we'll, the town will be at, like a tr worth a trillion dollars. We should build something out here. Could build another Pakoda. Everyone steals catalytic converters in your town. Converter to what? Converter? Damn near killed her. Ooh, is that... Does that mean I'm gonna build a bridge? Oh. <gasps> a bridge! Pog! Pog bridge. How nice. Now we'll build something out there. Alright, we need to use some of this area for more expansion. So, what do we need more of? Jobs are at eight? Okay, homes. We need more homes then. Like our mem our members only gated community, double gated, just in case they get past the first gate. You know they're out there, don't you?
Uh, to be fair, I watch uh, you as I work on making my own content. Inspiration is close word for it. That is totally fine. That is good. I'm glad I provide some sort of uh, something for people trying to make their own stuff, too. I'm sure, like, for example, people like Nurse and uh, a few other people who've watched the channel have, like, learned a thing or two by watching maybe a video of mine or two, and it's a mutual thing. It's it's really impossible to start a YouTube channel and not have been inspired by somebody else on YouTube and to want to do something in their style. And not necessarily copying, but it's just like a bringing your own flair in that style and then eventually developing your own thing. Most people I know have kind of started out and done things like I do them and then find out their own ways to do them and change it up. It's good. Okay, we need to build... Actually, we don't need more manufacturing. Wow, we're really profitable, though. What's up with this income inequality thing all the time? Alright, I'll bring... 12%, 13%. It's only $144. That's nothing. Wait, and they give me plus 5 approval for the 16%? Oh, there we go. Now we got the plus 1 approval. There we go. Alright, maybe they'll stop complaining now. Or maybe that'll help... Uh, people to get out of uh, lower income and move up to the middle class, which is good. Then they can buy a boat, Pog. Or maybe they can buy whatever car Shrike has. I forgot. I think it's a Volkswagen Golf. It's not. It's very similar to City Skylines. Yeah, it looks like City Skylines, but it plays kind of like Tropico, but it, it, like, the, the bigger, the bigger picture is like SimCity 4 and Tropico, but it's like also Transport Fever, but kind of workers and resources. I don't know. It's like a lot of different games that I've played, but I think because I've been playing like City Skylines and workers and resources, this is the best I've ever done. Like, I'm really doing well. This is the best game I've played. Like, the best, the best run that I've played in this game. It's really working well. Okay, well, I want to I wanna try a different power source now. The only, thing, the only other thing we got is solar. And that produces 200? It's too early to make another coal power plant. I don't want to do another diesel. Eh, we'll put another... We'll put another generator down. We kind of have to. We're going to need electricity. Looks great. Yep, the city turned out great. I'm not much of a uh, grid only person either unless it's like kind of a medieval game or like Anno or something like that. Like it makes sense in Anno, but the city's turning out dank. I really like it. Dank city, y'all. Dank, dank city. Okay, security's getting a little low. I think since we've added so many uh, new factories, we'll add a new fire department. Uh, let's do a fire department. Fire department and police station. Fire department, police station. I guess we'll have another fire department here. And then if we need to add another police station, we'll probably add it, like, in the center of town somewhere. I really don't know if factories need police coverage or anything. But they definitely would need, like, a fire department. This is definitely feeling like uh, Sim City right now. Oh, 
What is going on with everybody in this town? They're just like speeding. No, they're not speeding. They... Oh, they're just crazy. Alright, fire department's in. Pretty. Looks good, man. Best city I've ever built. The city is very pog, very lad. Oh, yeah. I don't know what we're going to build out here. Maybe another pagoda? A pagoda? Pog. Right, well, the real end goal is to try to get to 50,000, and I think we're going to do it. Oh, we just need to build a road out there. State-owned public housing for oh from the state oh state-owned factory and state public market oh just try putting some of those down and see how it affects things. Bum, 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 bum. Monthly cost zero for public housing. Oh yeah, we'll build a we'll build a member's tower. There we go, members, that's for you. All the members can live where the only channel they can watch is mine. Tower of Members, yeah. I don't know what the purpose of building that is, but okay. Well, we're at 44,000 and increasing. Yeah, the buildings do look nice. All right, we could definitely build some more housing down here.
It's actually a really good spot to build down here. Where are the parks? Uh, we built some parks here and there. Uh, there's public walking paths. We have basketball courts. We have some marinas that are really nice. Yeah, we have some really nice public areas for everybody. I think we're going to have to try to do buses and stuff next and see how that affects things. Oh, the public housing building is done. That's actually a nice building. That looks nice. Okay. Stats are slowly increasing on that one. Cool. Oh, that's nice on that corner. I just picked it because it looked nice, I guess. And I don't know what it does. Okay, I guess it provides low-income housing. Which is good because then, like, the only other way to get low-income housing would be to do low density in large portions. So it gets a lot of people in one area. Which is good because then we can keep them closer to the jobs. And then they can, they don't have to, like, go all this distance to work. That's cool. Oh, power grid's at 95% again. Alright, hopefully that uh, gives us some more homes. We need uh, about 5,000 more people in the city. Public housing gives us 400. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, my goal is to just try to get to 50,000 people in the city. And then we can start focusing on social issues and mass transit and get trains and things like that. That'll be a lot of, a lot of fun. What is a public market? I want to build one of those. I picture like a fish market or something, I don't know. Is like a farmer's market or something? I don't know. Uh oh, big dip here. Into local retail.
Yeah, we got some pretty rookie numbers right now for population. We got to get them numbers up. Chat, where's everybody watching from today? Of course, we are in the beautiful city of Port Pog in the nation of Raptoria. But where are you from? It's good to see everybody here in the chat, and I hope you're enjoying the stream today. Thanks again for smacking that like button to support the channel. And it's always good to see you all here for our wonderful streams, whether it be a simulator, city builder, or RPGs or whatnot. Like, for example, uh, a lot of Project Zomboid recently. A lot of base building and crafting in that one. It's good to see you all here. We got Western New York tuning in. Excellent. Welcome aboard. Nice to see you. We got uh, Rome checking in as well. Excellent. The Italians are here. Beautiful. We got Michigan, Croatia, Ohio, the Philippines, Alaska. Very good. Turkey, Istanbul. Oh, very nice. Istanbul tuning in. Germany. Excellent. Florida, New Hampshire. Excellent. Canada here too, bud. Excellent. Uh -oh. Buildings look all nice. The moon, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Argentina, Iowa. Indonesia in the chat as well as Brazil. Excellent. Very nice to see. All right, our final goal has got to be to reach 50,000. You live in Stockton, uh, California? Awesome, welcome. For whatever reason, California just made me think of uh, American Truck Simulator again. we got to go back and play America Truck Simulator again. That's such a fun game. I'll have to play with the members. Now this weekend, I'm thinking about doing Open TTD so everybody can join for a fun event. And we gotta go back to Farming Simulator as well. In the future, too. Farming Simulator is a lot of fun, and I owe some more member uh, streams for that one, too. And I thank everybody for being patient over the holiday season, because, man, there, we did a lot of crazy, uh, crazy cool stuff before then. Oh, we got to get those birth rates going. I guess it's all going to be dependent on schools. How is education at 52%? Okay. We're going to need a little bit more money in order to get more schools. I think we have enough homes now for 50,000. We just need them to fill up for the first time. Let's actually speed up the game a little bit and see if we can hit 50,000. And then, when we hit 50... When we hit 50,000, then we get the Department of Social Affairs, which means we can set some social policies and stuff. Wow, quality of life is at 88%. That seems to be quite good. Forty-seven thousand. Income has gone up a bit. Nice little basketball court there. All right, we're at 47,000. Insufficient power production. All right, hold on. We got to increase power production real quick. Oh, we're back on track for that. Water usage is at 78%. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, the plane is over there. When I um, I exited the game just to take a look at the world map and then came back and then the airport kind of like despawned. So I'm pretty sure if I upgrade the airport, it'll put it back there. But if I upgrade the airport, it's going to cost us a lot of money. So kind of just like a little gl uh, graphical glitch. There should be an airport there. Good question. Let's 
Let's add some more commercial buildings. I do like keeping a few of these buffer zones and trees and things around. It's it's nice to keep some of the area with trees and hills and stuff. It's kind of harder to build in those areas. All right, we're on our way to 50,000 people in the city. We're at 49,000, almost 500. Keep them coming, baby. Let's go. All right, we could probably add a school or something. Let's see if we can add maybe higher education. What do we got? Oh, a university we have to unlock over time. We could build a library. Let's build a library. All right, and the Department of Social Affairs is unlocked. Beautiful. Let's build a library for our citizens. Somewhere nearby. Ah, perfect, right here. All right, now we can build our Department of Social Affairs. Excellent. And then we can set policies from that whenever. We can build that. Uh... Build that right here. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, so now the next thing is just to set those policies. We'll take a, a brief look at them. For those of you curious. So we have freedom of religion, gender equality, gambling, human cloning, online freedoms, international adoptions, gun control, prostitution, labor unions, one-child policies, uh, smartphone control, drug legalization, criminal rehabilitation, affirmative actions, mod modesty law family planning and lobbying for now very good well for now we are out of time ladies and gentlemen but i hope you enjoyed our uh, replay through of city state 2 after it came out earlier last year this game is phenomenal so i hope you all enjoyed it smash like on the way out and i'll see you all next time thanks again for all the support and awesomeness and we'll come back to this one maybe in the future if you guys want to see more thanks again for being here thank you very much for all your time tonight I'm going to get out of here, make some dinner, get some other stuff done, and do some more recordings for you all. So I hope you all enjoyed our time in the city. We only made one city, but remember, the goal is to make one big, beautiful nation that you want to design. So, City State 2 available now on Steam. Cool times. I enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all tomorrow for Project Zomboid Big O Raid on the city of Louisville and the mall tomorrow. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks again for all the support. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all the member upgrades. Thanks again for smack and join. Thanks again for all the super chats. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.